Um, so you have a new book uh, called Mindful Self-Discipline. Um, and so I'm curious um, how you might distinguish just regular self-discipline with mindful self-discipline. Yeah, good, really good question. Um, self-discipline has two different elements to it, which is awareness and willpower. These are the two components, the two wings of this of this bird of self-discipline. And uh, most books and videos and programs about self-discipline out there, they overly emphasize willpower. It's all about it kind of mental toughness and um, pushing yourself to do things, a bit of the bulldozer approach. And I like to call this the military self-discipline. Now, the way that I teach self-discipline is awareness first. We emphasize awareness and then willpower. And when you do that, then practicing willpower becomes much easier. It becomes simpler. It feels like something that you want to do rather than something you're forcing yourself to do. So instead of willpower feeling like you know pushing a boulder uphill, it's more like rolling a boulder downhill. It's a simple exercise of kind of reconnecting yourself to your purpose in that moment and taking action that advances your purpose, that advances your goals, action that is aligned with the person you want to be. And, and so that's the main, that's the key difference between regular self-discipline and mindful self-discipline. It's a more, um, it's easier for most people to practice. It's more sustainable. It's more approachable for most.